Caroline Lucas joins us now from Brighton, where you um, kept your seat of Brighton Pavilion, which I understand with an increased majority. So congratulations to you. Um, you must be you disappointed, though, that the Greens haven't done better, especially considering that your leader took part in so many high-profile events, including, of course, the television debates. Well, nearly a million people voted Green across the country. I think that's quite an achievement. We came a very solid second in four constituencies. Um, I think it's been a, a good night. Of course, I think one of the lessons from this evening is absolutely the need for electoral reform. It makes absolutely no sense that a party can get almost a million votes but only one seat in Parliament. And I hope very much that in the coming days and weeks that issue of electoral reform will be at the top of the political agenda. Caroline, don't mean to be rude, but a lot of people didn't find Natalie Bennett's leadership during this campaign very impressive. Wouldn't it be better if you were leader again? Natalie Bennett went up and down the country, mobilising people in an extraordinary way. In the course of the last year, we've seen our membership grow from around 12 or 13,000 a year ago to 63,000, I think it is now, in England and Wales today. So, you know, I think she's done a pretty good job of mobilising those people, getting them out to vote. I think the bigger lesson is around our electoral system, the fact that it is broken, um, the fact that really the whole the whole election was dominated by the politics of fear. You know, what we heard from the other parties the whole time was basically a message that said, you know, you can't afford to vote for the other, the other ones. Here in Brighton Pavilion, we ran a really positive campaign, and I think that's been reflected in the result tonight. There was absolutely no doubt you ran a very good campaign in Brighton Pavilion, not least because it was absolutely not a given that you were going to win. A lot of people thought it would be quite tight. You, you have won, but you had high hopes in Bristol West. You had high hopes in Norwich South. You had acres of national publicity. It just hasn't happened. That must be immensely frustrating for you. I, I wouldn't agree that we had acres of national publicity. Uh, we did get into the leader debates, and I'm grateful for that. And Natalie used that opportunity to put climate change and the environment on the political agenda, which no other party did. I think what makes me sad today is that essentially what we need to do is have an alternative to the politics of austerity and more cuts. Looks like we're going to have another five years of those. And we're also going to have another five years of not putting the environment and climate change at the heart of the agenda. That is the tragedy of tonight. And I come back to the point that I keep repeating that the lesson really is we need to find uh, a way of getting voting reform high on the political agenda. 